Hello everyone, this is Ashishan. In this uh, lecture video, uh, we are discussing the launch sheet. So in this uh, video lecture, we will discuss the third question. So let's uh, read this question very carefully. A finance company has advanced loan to six clients whose critical details are given below. That means this is the uh, format that we have given that is client ID, name of the borrower, principal amount, rate of interest per annum, and the period in years. All loans are repayable in equity quarterly installment. That means the EMI paying by six clients or six clients quarterly wise. Then we need to compute the project interest income of the finance company. For the next 10 quarters in the given below format so this is the period that is 10 quarters as per the client id right now as you have seen that nothing is given about that means uh, who are these clients what is the principal loan that means uh, the amount of loan taken by these clients then what is the rate of interest fixed by the company then what is the period of years that means uh, for how much years they have taken loan nothing is given so that means in this case we need to assume everything we need to assume everything that means in this case uh, we can't apply like we look up we can't even apply like and we can't even create the list with the help of uh, uh, the data validation because nothing is given no single absolute value is given to you right so in this case everything we need to assume right so for this i have already made a draft that is the client id the six clients the name of the word i have just uh, taken this name uh, hypothetically this is the principal now that is uh, suppose this nisha have taken loan for five for uh, four lakh naman have has taken for rupees five lakh riya has taken loan for rupees twenty thousand Hemant has taken for rupees 40 lakh, Manish has taken for rupees 50 lakh, and Isha has taken for rupees 30 lakh. I and I tell you again that uh, I have taken all these figures randomly, right? Suppose the rate of interest for Nisha that is 10, then for Naman 11, then 10, then 11, then 10, then 11. Now the uh, period in years that is 10, 12, 15, 20, 10, 5. I have taken all these figures randomly. Now this is the period that is the total number of of calculate we need to calculate the uh, the, um, the projected income for the company for the ten quarters, right? For the ten quarters. Now uh, So we need to calculate the interest so how do we calculate basic interest that is equals to ipmt equals to rate that is 10 divided by quarterly basis so divided by 4 period that means for this period that is for first quarter so select this cell total number of period total number of period that is the period in years that is uh, e3 e3 multiplied by 4 present value take in negative minus this much amount and then close the bracket that's it this is the way of calculating the interest now we need to scroll this value to down as well as to the right side also i repeat we need to scroll this value towards the downside as well as toward the right side as well so we need to check very carefully which cell would be fixed and which value suppose not to be fixed right so if we scroll to the right word if we scroll to the right word which cell would be changed and which cell would be would not be changed so starting with d3 
d3 that is rate of interest so we need to scroll down also so and we need to write word also so in this case uh, in this case uh, the d would be fixed right that means the uh, column d would be fixed right but we will not fix this three value why because if we scroll down then we need to the rate of interest would be vary from person to person then this score would be like this only then coming to f2 if we scroll to the right side so it would be g2 so f will not, not will not be fixed but 2 would be fixed 2 would be fixed then e3 e3 is that is your uh, period in years that is 10 so in this case uh, e3 no uh, we will not fix up any value here then minus c3 yes this we need to fix up with this value now just press enter uh, sorry not c3 not c3 so now just scroll down to the right side made something wrong sorry this value would also be fixed yes sorry something wrong so dollar sign let me check this again just a minute If we come to this side, that means IP, IPMT would be calculated, that is uh, D3 by 4. G2 F3. What is F3? Sorry, it would be E3 now. It would be E3, so that means uh, this cell would also be fixed. E3 multiply by 4, E3 multiply by 4 minus D3. Yes, no, it's correct. So, it last I have taken here so much time. So, let's uh, understand this uh, value concept here. So, you know how to calculate IPM, right? So, I am just confusing about the that uh, uh, row would be fixed. So, in this case, uh, every row would be fixed that is C3, D3, E3. As well as F2, right? Now just 
scroll down on this video again scroll down scroll down very simple that's it now for the total and then scroll to the right word that's it so we have been asked about to calculate the projected interest for the finance company for the next quarter so this is the income of the finance company for the next quarter right so class this is the way of calculating the interest income i hope you have understood very well thank you